Oh, this is Rob Crest right there. See the TV and um, just ran into the. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Uh, well, we're the we're the uh, University of Calgary Solar Car Racing Team. Yeah. And this team, uh, this car's name is Sulik Axiom. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, so how many kilowatts uh, are you, do you generate? <laughs> That's really a question for me. Uh, yeah. okay. So so far the maximum power we've gotten out of it is about 1.3 kilowatts. Uh, okay. We expect more on a really sunny day, but we haven't really got too many good days so far. So we'll have to see. Okay. You think you could open the uh, the motor part for me? Is it like brushless, uh, gearless, or what is the motor? It's a DC motor one to one uh, ratio. Yeah. It's a, a one to one drivetrain. Yeah. Um, and it is brushless. Uh, brushless, gearless. Uh, no, yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's what we call a pancake motor. Um, yeah. We bolt the hub right on, uh, bolt, bolt the uh, yeah. wheel right onto that motor, and get direct drive that way. Okay, it's bolted to the the wheel. Yeah, it's okay. bolted to the rotors. Yeah, I just so you know, I, I have uh, I've ha owned like more than twelve electric uh, vehicles, including electric pickup truck. Cool. So I'm, I'm well. I have I have, I have uh, vehicles that have uh, brushless uh, hub motors as well. So um, is it what is your controller? It's a, it's a tritium wave sculptor, so it's, it basically turns the DC into a three-phase AC sine wave. Yeah, okay, so it's an AC. Yep. It's an AC, uh, you have an AC hub motor. Um, Just uh, don't touch the car, stand back things. So, uh, what is the method of, how did you, you know, put the panels down? Like, what, how's it uh, buried in there? Um, well, the encapsulation method we developed ourselves over the past year, um, it's basically, you sandwich the cells in between a couple layers of protective plastic. Uh, well, the details are pretty intense, so I won't I'll leave them okay. out. But. Okay. So, uh, what, what are your controls here? This is it about accelerator and brake? Yeah. Um, those two panels there are brakes. One yeah. on the left is a parking brake. One on the right is just a normal mechanical brake. Okay. Um, and the accelerator, uh, there's two knobs on the steering wheel. There's two knobs on the steering wheel. Okay. And what sort of instrumentation do you get? Uh, we get uh, bus voltage, so voltage from the battery pack, amps, so that's amps drawn from the battery pack. Yeah. Um, it's like we also get velocity. We get more data as well from the battery pack from uh, yeah. some electronics that I've designed. So. Okay. Do you have uh, regen braking? Yes, we do. Yeah. What's what's the uh, like? Uh, what's the system voltage in amps? Pardon? What's your system voltage? Oh, um, we run at about 159.6 volts peak. Okay. What's, I think, what's I think your battery? Nominal, it's about 130, 130-ish. What's your battery percent. system? Uh, 25 kilograms of lithium polymers. Uh, what what kind of pouch type? Yeah, they're pouches. So the explosive ones, potentially. Yeah, that's why we have yeah. uh, specially designed electronics to look after them. Okay. You have so, you have a BMS. Uh, BPS, yeah. We call it the BPS. What's a BPS? Uh, battery protection system. I know a lot of people call it BMS. Yeah. But what what are, describe? I mean, there's many kinds of BMSs. So, what is yours that uh, do charging and load as well? Um, it actually doesn't do any balancing. I think that's what you're thinking of. Yeah. It just does protection. So it, it does monitoring. Okay. Yeah. And if anything goes wrong, it'll shut down the car. Do you have individual but, cell uh, balancing? Uh, no, there's no, no balancing on board. Okay. It's all done. Um, Externally, just manually. Okay, so you have a. Okay, so what's what's the what's the race going to be like? Hey, um, like as in terrain, you mean, or? Yeah, like what's what's the terrain going to be? Well, it's going from Tulsa to Chicago. Okay. I believe it's actually. Is it? You're right. Is the terrain on the race? It's really hilly, right? Yeah, it varies. Um, the terrain varies. A lot of it's uh, for the most part, quite a bit of it's just nice flat, straight surface. But we do get tested with a lot of hill terrain yeah. as well, and a lot of nice tight corners as well. One of the big things is we also have Formula Sun Grand Prix where we have to actually have to prove and test the car, and yeah. that's almost that's a circuit race. So we're yeah. throw, we're actually doing circuit racing with this as well. Okay, so that's in order to qualify. Yeah. Okay. So like what have you got here? That is our telemetry unit. That's your telemetry. So you've got uh, you've got a chase vehicle with. Uh, lead, yeah, we drive in a convoy. Yeah. Uh, lead and chase. Our yeah. chase vehicle gets live data streamed back to its uh, to the car. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. From the car. Yeah. Uh, and that will also mon this also monitors our battery pack. As yeah. Well. It will send off data from the battery pack. We also have uh, coupled into that a uh, rear view uh, camera display, so we can help with backup on that. 
but that's a flip on switch. Uh, we have a tritium display uh, that actually gives us our bus bolts and our set amps. Uh, it also gives us our um, bus amps as well and uh, our velocity. So we can all monitor through that. It has our um, left and right turn signals, uh, our uh, velocity and accelerometers. Um, are right here, so okay. they're pe they're uh, pots instead of uh, yeah. your traditional uh, foot pedals, and we yeah. have dead man switches to hold in the throttle. And then we have yeah. a parking brake, uh, which is the black one, and then we have a uh, mechanical brake uh, that we use. So, so you have a, you have a that's the accelerator, right? The pot? Is it a five k pot? Uh, is it a five k pot? Both are accelerator pots. Five k. Uh, they're 10k actually. Uh, 10K. The controller we use is a bit strange in that if you put a 5k yeah. on it, it kind of overloads it. Okay. What what are these? Are these the uh, the power wires? Yeah. So these are the panel wires going okay. through the shell. They're all strain relieved and waterproofed with um, silicone. It's a type of silicone seal it yeah. And is that the uh, quick disconnect? Yep. So that, that's the that's the main uh, external disconnect. So when you push that button on the outside. Um, you'll basically turn off all the contactors on the car, uh, and uh, it'll all shut, shut down the entire car. It's pretty low, eh? Oh yeah. So this will like do like normal city streets? Oh yeah. Yeah, we've been dri we driving through Calgary. We were on road permit, so. Okay, so. The speed bumps don't bother you, eh? Like the speed... Um, I don't think we've actually run into any speed bumps, but yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Cool. All right, well, yeah. good luck. Thanks. Okay. Uh, thanks for uh, asking those questions. Don't make people ask the good questions.